Hello everybody, my name is Chris Bogonski, you already knew that. Um, so welcome back to the Stanley Parable, and also I've been gone for a while. Um, uh, I was in Texas for a while, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed those Game Solitis videos. Uh, by the way, those Game Solitis will have its own channel uh, from now on. It's not just me, it's also going to be uh, my friend Matt, my friend Robert, and a bunch of our other friends, and we're all going to just make... Um, gaming videos, we're going to put them up uh, on Game Solitis. And it's not, the channel isn't made yet because I'm collaborating with an animator right now to do the intro, <clears throat> which is going to be awesome. So, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, so uh, uh, you guys probably see this thing, and it's really good microphone. It's my new condenser microphone. It's totally awesome. And so I figured, what better way to test it out? Than to uh, than to play a game, and I was like, oh, what should I play? Shovel Knight, uh, which I will get around to doing, but just not yet. Um, so many games, and I was like, I haven't done all the endings in the Stand the Parable, so let's go for that. And so here we are. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All of his co-workers were gone. Yep. What could it mean? Stanley yep. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, no the, matter how the memo about the giant looked, orgy. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Mm -hmm. They all went to a big orgy. Uh, and Jeremy, Samantha, uh, 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 Celia, um, uh, uh, Josiah, all of them. They all just... It's a, it's a big, biggest orgy in the universe. Why is it always an orgy? Maybe they're going to throw me a surprise birthday party. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. I don't know. I'm feeling more rightish today. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, That's and Stanley fine. knew it perfectly well. Yes, I do. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I do not. Ah, yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beauti beautifully complete, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I think I broke him a little bit right there. Okay. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I'm sorry, I'm just zoning out for a second. I do this a lot. So, I think I've experienced the ending where I jump off. Should I do it? If there's somebody out there right now yelling, jump, jump! Keep it to yourself. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the yeah. fact is that the story has been about person. nothing but you all this time. What? Really? Yes. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Well, the last time I went on that cargo lift, I think I did do that ending. Uh, you did kill me, so yeah. Now listen that. carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay. Normally I would say, let's go through the blue door. But instead, let's see what happens if we choose the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. Am I just going in I a would, maze? We would both be so much happier if we just... I, I am. Stopped. I'm just going in a, in a, in and a circle. I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh. 
Ooh, two doors. Which one? Which one? Let's go with this one. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. What am I walking towards? Is my is the question at hand? Oh wow. Here. Yes. Oh, oh wow. it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Uh, so nice. Uh, I don't know why this actually makes me feel happy. It's just, ooh, the transcendence of colors is soothing. Oh, it's moving. I thought my mouse was moving for a second. Oh, it's so nice. Ooh. All right, well, enough of that. Oh, wow. Can I... I cannot walk off here. I was going to say, that'd be a weird ending. Okay. No, wait. Where are you going? We have to get on with the game, dude. Oh, no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. What do you what do you, the hell are you talking Please, about? Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. I feel bad now. I kinda don't want to do this, because I feel I feel like I was actually starting to get along Please, with the Stanley, think guy. about what you're doing. Mm, I'm thinking it over. Give me a second. Let me let me squat on this. Let's see here. If I live, I get to stare into the stars with the creepy narrator guy who is actually turning out to not be such a douche. Wow, how the tables have turned. I've turned out to be the narrator. Or, I can jump and end it all. YOLO! No! Oh, thank God. Alright. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Sure. Here. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. Okay, there are no more stars. The stars are gone. Now it's just a bunch of pink. I'm having flashbacks of my sister's room. Every single time you walk in there, it's like you were walking into a night rave club where the walls were pink. There they go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's all gone. I don't want to kill myself. That's the last resort. Is that the only ending? All right. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. I feel bad, but I got to do no. it. No, no, what do you do? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? I don't know. I'm a psychopath, dude. For all you know, I'm a dude sitting in front of his computer computer going, "Yes, kill him. Kill him now." For all you know. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Uh, I'll do it one more time. I'll go back to the room one more time. Every, every time I jump off, I'll go back to the yes. room. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. Maybe. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? The colors are nice. It's soothing. 
I would like to watch this while going to bed. Not the game, just this. It is nice. And the sounds. Like, this just projects onto your ceiling and helps you sleep better. Okay, but once these things go away, I'm going back for another jump. And if it turns out to just be a charade, I'll try jumping twice. See if that doesn't kill me. Screw this. Alright. No, perhaps not. This is the last jump. Oh my god. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? I feel really just like a dick right now. Wow! Well done, game developers. God, I actually... When you feel for the character, you, like, and, it, and it's not even your character, like, when you feel for, like, it's somebody you can't even see, like, somebody that's, like, disembodied, just their voice, you're just kind of like... When you're just like, aww. That's when you know it's a good game. <laughs> Alright. YOLO. Jesus. Maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. Maybe. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to up. Do you actually want to stay alive? Or are you just teasing me? I'll just get it over with. Uh, it's, I'm hurting this guy's feelings. I feel like a dick and I don't want to be. I was never that type of person. This is the last jump because he didn't say anything. Y O L O. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? Yep. I'm going back. This is really sad. God, when I started this playthrough, I didn't think like I would wind up like feeling sad at the end of it. I thought I thought like by the end of it, I'd just be like, "Well, thanks for watching." And I'm just kind of like, "Wow." I got to a state where the narrator wasn't trying to kill me or anything. We were just chilling, and I decided I'll throw myself off the top of a pillar a couple times. Yeah. I feel like a dick now. I don't want to play this anymore. Not for today. My god, that's too emotional. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this twisted tale of two friends. And one of the friends was like, hey, can't we just, can't we just get along? And the other one was just kind of like, jump. If you did, leave a like. Leave a comment letting me know how much of a terrible person I am for putting the narrator through that. Or comment on what games you want me to play next. Um, Game Salitis' channel will be up in a few days. And if you guys want to check that out, I'll, in the next, I'll upload a video before uh, I leave uh, again for Texas. So you guys can uh, go watch them and stuff. Uh, so that's the end of this video. And... I will see you all in the next video. Spread the word. Bye-bye.